Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, what you're looking at is the motor out of a Mark's hand car. Just wanted to do a quick video on uh, the difficulties of working on these simply because they are so physically small. As you see, this is a little tiny, tiny motor. The brushes are about the diameter of pencil lead. And that is not a uh, exaggeration. Anyway, this old motor is up and running, as you see. And uh, I'm gonna put it on the fifth rail, just let this run. I just pulled it out of the uh, shell. And as you see, it scoots along rather well. Now the problem with them, of course, is the way they're constructed is, as I said, the gears are mounted on one side only, as you see. So, one of the worst things you can do with this is try to turn the motor by actually turning the wheels. And as you turn this, you can see how those flex. If you actually put the arm on this thing and try to turn the motor by turning the wheels, you can pull that gear right off of there. It'll just tweak it right out of the uh, mount. You can see how loose this is. But it is running. Anyway, this one, surprisingly, the camera to focus, has two contacts. Now, originally, someone had gone in here and chopped the wire completely off of this one. No idea why. The power wire is actually right there. So I ran a new red wire from this connector over to the power wire, and I actually connected the second one, which had never been used. Surprisingly, it had never been connected. There was no solder on uh, the uh, connector at all. So I added a wire there, brought it up, and also tied it to the uh, power wire. So it's now being uh, powered by both of those contacts. Anyway, as you see, it's up and running with no problem. And that motor is really small. You could mount this motor in all kinds of other things, no doubt. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on it just to uh, give you some idea of how actually small this motor is. It's exactly the same layout as the standard Marks motor. You've got two springs, two brush wells, two brushes, and uh, the uh, brush plate itself, of course. But as you see, this thing is absolutely tiny almost macro. I mean, you have to use a uh, magnifier to actually get in there and do anything to these. As you see, I've sprayed this with WD-40 just to break everything loose. Now, the nice thing about WD-40 is it does not conduct electricity. So you can spray it into a motor and it won't short the uh, brushes. It actually cleans them and uh, allows this thing to run. Anyway, spray it really well and then blow it out with some air. That gets 90% of this crud out of here. Anyway, this thing has never been serviced, very likely since it left the factory. So anyway, it's up and running with no problem. As you see, it's just now a matter of what am I going to do with it? No idea. So I will assemble this one back into the uh, working hand car. Uh, if I can get the uh, gears to mesh on the other motor, I might be able to actually use the uh, motor itself and put it in something else. Anyway, just wanted to do a uh, follow-up on this. I had never seen one of these before. The uh, Mark's hand car was something I never had any interest in owning. Anyway, after looking at this thing, as you can see, it is really small and it is really fragile. And to uh, replace any of those gears, of course, you've got to completely gut this motor. So, in any case, I just want to do a quick uh, video on this motor. It is extremely small, as you see. But this one actually runs quite well. And since I uh, connected that second contactor, it actually runs better than it ever has. So, anyway, just wanted to do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.